Okay, I wanted to show how I get rid of this sticky Fabrisolvi sticker. Um, I had my design on it and I've stitched it. So I'm gonna take it out of the hoop. Sometimes if I'm feeling uh, like I have a little extra time, I will just pull it a bit off the fabric where it's where there's no stitching so that it's a little more loose. Um, and then I will just trim the excess a little bit. Usually on dark fabrics, well, so the reason I trim it a little bit is because um, after I've washed it, just be really careful that you don't trim <laughs> your fabric behind. Actually, maybe this would be a smarter way to do it like this, so I make sure I don't trim anything. Um, I'm just gonna, so there's just a little extra piece off. So that's just less that will have to dissolve. Um, but I, I usually only use this if I'm doing dark fabrics, but I have done it on lighter fabrics and sometimes it leaves a little bit of a residue and so um, I want to just avoid that as much as possible. So I'm just going to try to get off as much as I possibly can in the areas where there's not stitching. Um, you can, it rips slightly, but it's not very, it doesn't rip very well. So I find scissors work best. I prefer not to use my nice fabric scissors just because I don't want there to be any if you've worked with it for a bit, you can tell there's a little bit of a sticky residue and I don't want that on my nice scissors. Okay, so now it's trimmed just a little bit closer and I'm going to make sure all of your surfaces are super clean. <laughs> That's half the challenge is getting a clean sink. So I'm gonna put my water just on warm and First, I'm just going to do it slowly, a gentle stream, and I'm just going to place it down. See how I have it at a little bit of an angle? I don't have it flat, so it's not getting everywhere. I like to usually do it at an angle so that the top um, kind of catches there. And then once you've gotten it a little bit, you can kind of pull if you want. just depends on how delicate your stitches are. If you've done a lot of satin stitch, you want to be really careful with this because it will mess up your long satin stitch. If it's short, it's fine. Um, like I've done on these pots, um, but it just kind of messes it up a little. Okay, my water's gotten a little cool. I'm gonna, I like to have it lukewarm. Um, and then once I have the bulk of it off, you can see there's a little bit of residue here. So I'm going to grab my faucet and do a, more of an agitated spray. And it's going to get those little, see you can see, those smaller pieces. Um, so I'll go pretty close to my stitching. Let me show you what it's looking like. So see here, it's got most of this off, but right here is still got some, some residue. So that's where I'm gonna go a little closer with the agitator. I don't know if that's even the word for this. see here in my sink um, those are pieces of the sticker um, so they will be sticky in your sink so feel free to get those out okay so this is what I'm left with looks pretty good um, there's still a little bit of stuff on the edges so then I always have a towel ready to 
place this over just a little bit. I always have a towel ready so I can just set it down and not get anything dirty. And then I'll smooth it out. Um, and this is also where I'll notice if I had some tension troubles. So because it's super wet, this is linen. Um, so it's gonna stretch a little bit. This is a good time to just stretch it out as much as you can. I'm gonna be framing this in a hoop. So I will have a chance to do it again, but it's nice to kind of stretch it out. Then, next up, I will get a little skewer or toothpick and just kind of go by the edges and see if there's, let's see if I can see a little closer here. Um, I see a little bit of blue over here. So I'm just gonna kind of comb it with a toothpick. It seems really fiddly and probably no one will notice. But again, if you're doing this on a lighter colored fabric, you'll see, you'll see the errors a little bit more. I think that looks pretty good. Um, and then I just leave this here to air dry. So I tend to do it at night so that when I come back in the morning, it's all ready to go. And I can frame it again in my hoop exactly how I want it and then uh, finish off my hoop.